Hello, my name is Jose Luis again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, level as well as how to floor plan. All right, let's start in leveling first. Follow me. Okay, so I'm just just going to show you how to consider um, leveling in your process of design, uh, especially in designing a building. Now, I'm just going to show you my process. So. What my goal was, was to create an office building that was eco-friendly as well as it was um, functional and well in use. Now that's going to help out in the long run when actual people go in there, right? Now, for leveling, at first I wanted it to be, you know, a pretty big building. It's in Manhattan, right? You got to build up. But then I thought, you know, what would be more eco-friendly? What would be more... Uh, I guess design friendly too because I had a limited amount of time. So what I did, I decided on four floors and each level as you can see in right here, each floor has you know the same windows, the same uh, look, the same you know how it would be seen from other people. And then on the roof I put a green roof with trees and shrubs um, to actually absorb the water when it's raining instead of it becoming city sewer runoff to the ocean so it's kind of a healthy kind of machine when you actually look at the factors that create it to be eco-friendly um, and you want to make sure that when you are leveling you make sure that it fits what it's supposed to uh, in its occupation, right? You can't have a factory and you only have four floors with a so and so square footage. You need to make sure that the company you're building for gives you the amount of space that they are going to use for their facilities. So those are some things to consider. Now, follow me to the floor plan. And so, as you can see here, before I said, for floor plan, you want to make a cohesive flow so that when you go into the building, it doesn't look awkward or you find a room that's way off to the side that's not supposed to be there. So I'm just going to show you the floor plan. So for the first floor in this building, I decided to make it way different than the second and the third and the fourth floor. So I decided to put a lobby right here, just like any other building, a lobby. And then since it was an office building, especially a secretive office building that I was going to make, um, I designed it so that it would be secretive and there would be stairs right here. And you've got to make sure you have bathrooms. You want to make sure it has bathrooms. Because if it doesn't have bathrooms, then people there are going to be mad. Um, and there's a room off to the side over here that makes it cohesive because it doesn't go too into the lobby. And this nice arch design right here makes it look elegant yet simple now let me move on to the second floor right here where it says um, it's going to be basically the workplace you have your conference room you have your president and vice president's room your woman's room your men's restroom and you have the workplace now depending on the type of uh, company that had you contract or architect this design you uh, you basically build it around that and if you want a big open floors plan, then you do that. If you want a closed floor plan, then you do that. It really depends on the type of company that you are assigned to. Um, and this is basically it. You want to make sure people are happy with the way it looks. People are not happy with the way they go into the building. Make sure people are happy. Think about that when you're doing the design process for a building in architecture. Thank you again for viewing my video.